All right guys, so uh, today we're working on the farm truck again. It's kind of been an on and off process because it's been raining a lot. So as the rain stopped, we're gonna start working on the front grill. So what we got for a grill, we got this piece of conduit here and uh, we're gonna cut it up and uh, mark out the outer edge. So like right now, All right guys, so right now uh, I'm working on the front bumper uh, and what we are doing is uh, I got two pieces of metal from the vending machine. I cut this piece, rounded it off to kind of give it the curve and then as you see there's this support bar here and it's going to be hard to bend so I cut out a chunk and what we're going to do is we're going to weld, bend a little, weld, bend a little and then once we get to this corner we're going to weld but then use the the ground to push on this end to give it this curve then I'm gonna weld it cut it grind it and then the front bumper should be complete and then we can mount that to the front end all right guys so uh, as of right now we're not gonna be running uh, light because we only have a week until farm truck and agent are in Ohio again so we just got these reflectors and farm trucks are square so what we did was we marked out a square and it's as you see it's a little smaller so this will sit behind it to make it look square and we'll just kind of glue it in or figure out a way to mount it from behind so it'll go from behind but it'll look square once you have it in so I'm gonna cut this out and then mark out the other three and then cut those out all right guys so uh, the body is pretty much done Got the hood on, the grill, the back and front bumper. Uh, did some details like this uh, gas cap and this rag. What I did was I took an old gas metal gas can, cut off the top, and this is literally the cap. And I tied the rag in the cap and twisted the cap back on. So that's how that's like that. Got a bottle opener here. I don't know if you can see past the mirror. Speaking about mirrors, I added mirrors. Uh, so we're doing all these little details and uh, we cut out spots for marker lights on it all around. And now something that I'm dreading to do. On farm truck right here on the bed, there's a dent. I, I gotta, gotta hit it. So I'm gonna use this rubber mallet to kind of tap it, see if I could dent it in a bit. So here we go. It's denting a little, but time to bring out the big guns. I think that's it. I got a little bit of a, a dent. Uh, I'll probably take the rubber mallet and hit up here to kind of extend this in a bit. There we go. So now we have a slight dent. So there we go. Now I got a dent in the bed. All right, working on the farm truck yet again, and uh, we're now working on the cap. Uh, I'm using a uh, shower wall, like a 
material type thing that we're going to use that for the cap. So I'm making a skeleton right now. So I'm going to drill a hole in the bed. I got it marked out. And uh, so we got to drill the skeleton on, figure out where we want it, and then figure out how we're going to mount the material we're using as the cap. All right guys, so uh, we're going to be doing like the bottom trim of farm truck. Like I'll show you on my truck, just to, so like they have a bottom trim that kind of goes along here. And theirs is like a, a stainless steel, but they have a black strip in the middle. So we're gonna tape off the edges and then do a black strip. But first we're going to put it against the body. So like if we set it here, We'll go in, mark it so we can cut it and then have our pieces for each spot that needs it. And then uh, we'll do the painting and then the cutting and then the mounting and then it'll be almost complete. Yep. All right guys, as you see here, uh, we got it marked and we got it labeled, or not labeled, but mounted and on. And we got it following the wheel well and we got it top riveted on. We're probably gonna get like a paint marker or a Sharpie to cover up uh, the rivets just to make it look more complete. Uh, we didn't do up there yet because we got to mark where the door is so we could do that little piece up front. But then other than that, uh, this is how it looks. And this is the driver's side. So as you saw before, I hit it with the sludge hammer. And then what we did was we kind of bent this piece a bit and we left a little gap to make it look like it was damaged a bit. So that's where we're at. Now we got to do the other side and uh, hopefully soon we'll put patina on. All right guys, so uh, this is our final piece of trim for the truck. Uh, the good thing is some of the bottom trims were me miss missing. missing, so uh, this is our final piece. And once this is on, all the trim is pretty much done minus for the cap. So I'm gonna drill some holes, get it riveted in. So. Have some fun drilling off. Of All right, guys. So I uh, did some more work to the back bumper here. Uh, I added some patina. I used this piece of metal to kind of scrape some places. I used yellow paint to add like an aged look and some black in places. Uh, the reason why I did that also is to make the uh, license plate kind of pop out or stand out and on their license plate they have six Z's and because this is a smaller version I figured I'd go with three. Uh, we got uh, the horseshoes, we glued those on, uh, this cowbell here we welded on through the bottom, uh, this wrench here is glued on, we glued on a penny and the penny that we chose is a 2022 because that's the year we made this. So uh, now we just gotta finish. All right guys, so we added some details to the cap. Uh, we did paint on the back window, uh, but you know, it, it works. And uh, these trimming pieces are actually off of the vending machines that we used to make the body. So uh, we're gonna try, we, we're using a lot of vending machine on this one. And then we're on the driver's side and on farm truck, they have a beware of dog sign right here. So we made one. So we're gonna put this right there and we're gonna rivet it in. Uh, we just made it off of the same material as the cap. So it's that like, I don't even, like a plastic type material. And like for the, you know, your shower walls. So we're gonna rivet those on right there, and then that is where it will live.
So guys, here's our farm truck. Uh, I'm gonna start in the front as usual. So there's still some more work I have to do. Like I gotta do the lights and uh, the uh, front license plate. Uh, I did have a Chevy emblem. Uh, it fell off. So I'm gonna have to find that and I'll probably just bolt it on. Um, we did use uh, this grading back here is shopping cart. Uh, we did get a message or a uh, comment someone saying we should use shopping cart and I so happened to have one so I used some up for that this here was the original hood but uh, I changed it because well it fell off so I put it up here so if it's at a car show it makes it look more complete we do have to uh, make it fit better but as of right now this is where we're at uh, another thing I added so right here is an old bod spray so now this is like the uh oh the nitrous uh i got the mirrors this piece was from bed uh from shopping cart so i used the shopping cart for this piece for the mirrors i do have the flag right now i do have to wait for uh or get the others like the other emblems and the 405 uh the bottom of the the door is just drawn out uh but on the bottom I did drill out holes and then added this clip like how theirs is. I made this handle here. Uh, I used a piece of conduit and just flat pieces of metal. And uh, it's just for looks pretty much. It doesn't work. It's just, but so like from top, this is what it looked like. And I figured it'd make it look more realistic. Have the bottle opener like them, the rag. Uh, dented this side added some patina did their circles handprint we used Matthews because he had the smallest hands uh, did the cap so I have the uh, tailgate drawn out uh, I did the lights out of plexiglass just painted it I did make a little mistake the white is supposed to be on top but I have it like this because well I don't know uh, we taped off and did the Chevrolet. Uh, we did glue a wrench on. We do got a penny on. And, and the penny is um, a 2022. And we did that because that's the year that I made it. And then we got two horseshoes. And then another thing is, I added a cowbell. Because they do have a cowbell. Uh, we painted and made it look like it's faded so it looks like we've done a lot of burnouts and gave it that look and then you got the clips the scratches and the you know the the handle and the mirror so that's pretty much it's pretty much it can't forget this the antenna it is we did use a coat hanger as well i just bolted it i have it like bolted and sandwiched between this and uh, we have it to where the roof comes off, you climb in, start it, ride it. This thing is uh, pretty quick. We did get it up to 42. Uh, I feel like I could get more, but it's just, this is a heavy go-kart. Hopefully, because today is Friday, uh, Farm Truck and Asian are in town. So I'm hoping that tomorrow, Saturday, I could bring this and get it all well load it into my truck right there and bring it there and kind of get their reaction on it all right guys there it is finally finished the farm truck we had a great time building it it was fun learning about the truck more like figuring out like different beams and scrapes and stuff like that so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe leave a comment and as always, if you enjoyed your cruise down the last road.